Hi friends, new and old, it's your friendship and welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at the Day Out Cleo Denial and the Monster High Polly Pocket as well as two different ghoul mobiles from Hot Wheels. This Hot Wheel I found on Amazon and I think it was like $6 and some change, $7 and some change. And it looks just like the actual Ghoulmobile that we have that the dolls can sit in. And then I found this one on eBay and I paid $1.99 for it and I think like $4 shipping. And it's a completely different color. than this one. So I grabbed both and I thought that they just might be a good size for the Polly Pocket dolls to have a couple vehicles. The Polly Pocket I got on Amazon and I had been watching it for a while and it was $19 and then it went up to like $35 and Eventually it came back down to 19 and I thought I would snag this really cool Monster High themed Polly Pocket. We have the Darko art here. And on the back we can see all the little pieces that we get and the different places that we can put the dolls and the compartments. I haven't had a Polly Pocket since I was really little. I only had one growing up and it was a yellow like octagonal type of compact. It had a Polly and a baby in it. I think it was like a babysitting one. Only one I ever had. But I'm pretty excited to have this one. Do you guys remember when Pokemon it had like these Polly Pocket type of things you could get and you could hook them all together. I had those and I really liked those. Um, so we have the Polly Pocket and then we got the Day Out Boojit style Cleo Denial. And I found her at Ross for $11.99. They had Cleo, they had uh, Draculaura, they had Frankie, and they had... Uh, did they have Claudine? Yeah, they had Claudine. Um, so all of them were there. There were quite a few to choose from, and it was just one of the random stops I made when I was on my way home from going out to get a couple of things for my birthday, and I just was like, oh, there's a Ross. Let's stop and see if they just happened to have her. And they totally did. Uh, so I grabbed her, and I thought, we'll open her. We'll open the Polly Pocket and we'll open up the Hot Wheels and we'll take a look at everything and have some fun playing with some Monster High toys of all kinds of varieties. So let's go ahead and get everything out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Yay! All right, we've got Cleo out of the box. And let's get her off the stand so we can take a closer look. She is really pretty. Really pretty. I love the Egyptian nods in her makeup. The gold piece on her lip. I'm really glad that that's back. We've seen these fan earrings before. We've got a little gold necklace here. And then... Her dress is kind of like a short sleeve dress and it's got this pattern in it of like 
mm, the fans and kind of the headdress here that we have and the sleeves are like little mummy wraps and they have little metallic pieces in the mummy wraps her headpiece is a little headband and it has these like bird feathers maybe peacock feathers in there and she's got light blue and dark blue and then the gold tinsel and her hair is probably uh, and her hair is probably uh saran because it's real heavy see how it kind of flops down and it's real soft and feels kind of like it has a product in it so i would say this is probably a saran And the back of the dress actually has a bit of a different pattern to it. So the dress, I don't know, I kind of like it. I think it's cute. She's got a little belt here in gold with an eye on it. And then she does have these shoes. And these shoes are the same shoes that we saw in the... Mm, what was it school spirit they're just a different color on the bottom we have little scarabs really cool and she's a budget doll so she doesn't have any articulation in her chest any rib joint but she does have articulation in her neck and then in her shoulder, her elbow, and her wrist. And she does have hip articulation. She can sit down a little hard in the dress she's in. And then she does have knee articulation as well. She's pretty cool. I kind of want to see what she looks like when we look at her original doll. Take her glasses off. She's been on the shelf just hanging out. Put your... Put your arm down for a minute and then you can just take a look at each one and we can see that their makeup is really similar a darker lip over on this one and i almost feel like does she have a different skin tone i don't know she looks a little darker a little more tan maybe I don't know so we kind of have like you know the bell and the the same look really just a little less details and of course the shoes are really different um, but this Cleo the one that I have from the signature line gosh way back in the day when they came out and i can't even remember where i found her i might have found her at walmart i found so many of them at walmart um she looks to have a to have a poly because it kind of sticks out straight I mean, not bad because she's got a lot of hair, but the hair itself sticks out when you hold it like that. And then with this one, when we take a little bit of her hair, you can see how it flops down, even with just a little bit of it. It, it doesn't stand up like this does. But, there's even a difference in the blue, too. You can see how this blue is really bright blue. And then this blue is a really dark blue. So they've really changed up her hair color. Whether that's just due to the different hair fiber or just a completely different rooting on the doll. Um, there are some 
differences there and I think she's definitely worth adding to the collection and putting next to the other day out budget dolls. I quite like them. She did come with a purse. A little scarab. It's only painted on the one side and it's got a hole in the top and then it does open. So she's got a little purse. She comes with these little mummy snacks of some kind. They're from that lightning so they're like a hostess type snack. Nothing on the back. And she also came with a little wrap. So she's got some snacks, she's got a bag, and she is ready to go out for the day. You can even put her uh, snacks in her bag. I wonder if the other bag will fit in her bag. Can we put both snacks in here? No. Well, I mean, if we kind of want the, the mummy cookies hanging out, we could. Boy, everybody is stealing the show today. There we go. But yeah, she's got some snacks, a cool purse. And she is pretty snazzy. We'll give our signature Cleo her glasses back. She's got to go back on the shelf and hang out with Frankie. They've been hanging out on the couch from the... Uh, Coffin bean. The other thing that we're going to look at is the Polly Pocket. And the Polly Pocket comes in two pieces, so it's not connected in the compact yet. I think we have to connect it ourselves. So here is the top part. It's a purple glittery type of plastic. And in the bow, it's got little glitter and it is little moons, little bats. Let's see if I can get the, the bats to not all be right next to each other. There we go. Really cool. It does have this little like carrying string on it. Um, on the inside, I think it goes like this. And we have this little bookshelf that moves and it does something. It makes a noise. So I'm not sure. It looks like it's a trap door. So if I move this. See that floor down in there falls. So this floor drops with this moving. Interesting. Oh, we can see Watsy right there. And there's Count Fabulous. Little stair. We've got little books and a candle. Maybe a bottle up there. A little stained glass window and a table. There's a bat hanging down right there. Skullet. This looks like a little mad scientist lab. Cauldron. <laughs> Jar of eyeballs and a fishbone. Okay. And then down here, this could be a set of stairs. And then looks like we've got three different lockers. And you can see that's got moons for Claudine. That's got lightning bolts for Frankie. And then this has little hearts and bats for Draculaura. It looks like it opens. It does. So inside the lockers, we can see a little bit more. In Claudine's locker, we've got shoes and a skullet, the moon phases, and a wolf. In Frankie's, there's a coffee, a book, a banana, 
and a flag. And over in Draculaura's, looks like she's got cheerleading equipment, a varsity jacket, a bunch of books, a boba drink, vamp life, a picture of her and her friends. Gosh, I wish we could get right in there and see. That's that old, old art style. Oh, that's the old art style looks like in there. And she's got mad science, biology, clawculus, and dead languages. Hmm. Pretty cool. So there's some lockers. And then this looks like a little door. It has a moon, a bat, and a lightning bolt on it. A little... Probably like a dresser or a buffet or something. With their symbols on it, two torches. And maybe a mirror with scratches on it? It looks like it opens. Yeah, it does open. So in here, we have Crescent. And it looks like this is Claudine's um, like design studio, her little vanity that we got. Frankie's bag. I like that chair, a little bat chair, and a witch hat for Draculaura. Really cool. It looks like this has got two beds. Looks like, oh, look at this. Can you see the detail that they put into making this look like Claudine's actual bed that we have from her playset? That's pretty cool. Oh, and look, it's her fridge and her little neon light. It's totally her bedroom. A little spider hanging from that tree. And then maybe Frankie sleeps up here. That's really cool. I love the little detail they put into that. Uh, and then another little set of stairs there. The bottom half of the compact has Monster High with Polly Pocket right there. And then on the inside, it looks like this is a sitting area. A chair. This looks like this comes up and then it's the coffin bean. And we've got some chairs here that move. We have the little table here that moves. We have some gravestones there, a foam finger. Looks like a basketball court. And I'm not really sure what's happening over here. Oh, maybe it's a skate park. Because we randomly got a skateboard. Yeah, so it's like the coffin bean, a skate park, and a place to play basketball. That's pretty cool. We got this thing, and this thing goes through here to connect the two. So when you get it, you'll have to put these together like that, and then shove this through. goes on the other side. There we go. So now we have our compact. Keep your doors closed and we can close it right up. How cute is that? I really like these. These are fun. All right. Ah, how oh, cool. All right, that'll give us a better look around. So we get a couple different accessories to put in the playset. The first one that we have is a little two-seater couch, and it kind of looks like brains. And it has little pegs on the bottom, 
and they go right over here. So there's more seating. Here is the casket ball hoop. And that does have a peg on the bottom as well, and that's going to go right over here. Get it to go on the peg. There we go. So now we have the casket ball hoop up. The other thing is this, and it's a little desk. So it's got Monster High on it. And on the desk is probably an eye coffin, and a couple writing utensils, and a book. And it also has a peg, and it goes up here. I can get it to actually like, Oop, go on the peg. There we go. So then there's a little desk up in that area. We get an open book. And we can set that right up there on the desk. We get an itty bitty bitty little casket ball. Well, actually, it looks like the casket ball has a peg on it, and we can put it on that peg, and it won't roll around. We also get a skateboard in green and purple. I think this is a video game controller, like their attempt to switch. I think it's some kind of video game. We get two little cups for the coffin bean. Both pink. And we can put one right on the table there on a peg. And then set this one over here on the counter. The last thing that we received is this, and it's, I think it's supposed to be food, like cake, and a drink, or maybe a hot dog, and a drink with a straw in it, so I think it's some kind of food. I'll set that on the table too. And this set comes with Claudine. And she's got all pink hair, even her ears are pink, and it's really rubbery. She's got a lot of blush. Moon phases on her shirt and her necklace, and I think her arms move. Yeah, so her arms move, and then her legs move individually and then her waist moves too does the head move no can the hair come off no so there is our claudine pretty cute i mean not bad we'll put claudine right there We've got Frankie, and they're looking pretty good. We've got the uh, robotic leg, and their arms move, and they can sit. Now, they are in a skirt, so we can't move their legs individually, but we can move their hips like this. And this arm does move. Uh, even though it is bent, so we can go down, we can go up, and we can go to the back. Maybe they can hold a tray of food or a book or something in that hand a little bit better. 
And their hair is just white with a few blue streaks in it. Kind of sad it's not black streaks. We'll put Frankie right on the skateboard. Ugh. There we go. And last but not least, we do have Draculaura. And she's got a little black skirt and her little pink top. Her little fangs and her heart. Her eyes are really cute. And her hair is black and pink. And she's in a skirt, so she can't use her legs individually. And both of her arms do move. And she can move at the waist as well. Really cute. And one thing the box shows us, let's go ahead and have Frankie sit down right there in that chair. Move your hands so you can sit right there. And then Draculaura, they have in here that we can put her, yeah, we can put her on the ceiling. Look at this. So then she's just chilling up there on the ceiling. Fix this part, put the book back on the desk. And somebody lost their lunch. There we go. How cool is that? I love seeing that we have different places like that for the characters to hang out and sit. And I really like that Dracula can hang upside down in that room. Let's test out that, um, like trap door. Okay, so Claudine, sometimes I feel like because my fingers are so big that I need tweezers to do some of these. All right. Woo, yeah, that's a little trap door. She goes behind the bookcase. So she's just standing up here. I can give her a stand, not like fall forward. There we go, and then downstairs she went. And that's kind of like, oh, I wonder if that might be where Dracula sleeps. Is that her coffin? Yeah, I don't know if you can see down in there too well. Um, there we go. You can see there's a pillow and a blanket and there's a monster high crest in there. Let's see the bed. So yeah, that's where Draculaura sleeps. <laughs> Weird. She sleeps on the floor. So we put her in there, and then where'd my other friends go? And then Claudine sleeps in this bed. And Frankie gets this bed. I really quite like this. I've always enjoyed little compact play sets like these. I really enjoyed the Pokemon ones when I was little, and then of course the My Little Pony ones that we've seen recently with the Mini World Magic. But this little Monster High one is really cool, and I would totally buy another one if they made a different set. Well, now that we have the Polly Pocket, I've got these Hot Wheels, and 
I think that the Poly Pockets should fit in these Hot Wheels. These are really cool, well-made metal and plastic. It looks just like the vehicle. So fun. And <laughs> there it goes right off the cliff. And then here's the other one in black. Side by side. Huh, really interesting. This would have been a cool change they could have done to that extra place that they did with the car so that there was an incentive to want to buy it. There's two different ones. But we do have them in the Hot Wheel variety. And I want to know, do the Polly Pockets fit in the Hot Wheels? Mm. Okay. They're in. Can I get you to go like down in there further? Mm. No. I think it's really the size of the feet. The feet are really long, quite big, so they don't allow for them to sit down in there. But if it's just one, well, maybe if we turn their feet sideways, all the way. There we go. Now it can look like Frankie's actually driving the vehicle. Focus on Frankie as they drive the Ghoulmobile. Cool. Now, can... Don't you go rolling off the cliff now. Can another character sit in here too? And Claudine's feet are separate, so I guess mm, it's a tough, it's a tough set, kinda. There's kind of a way to make them sit in there so it looks like they are together in the vehicle, which is pretty cool. And then, that really wants to go right off the cliff. My word. And we've got to give Draculaura. This one in black and pink, and I think it looks great. So you can totally get these little matchbox cars and use them for your Bali pockets to have a couple of vehicles to drive around and have a couple different adventures that maybe go outside of the compact. Really cool. I love the Hot Wheels. I haven't had one in a long time. I used to have a, like a case of them and I would keep them to use on like matchbox car races that we would have at um, a campground that my family went to during the summers. Um, other than that, they just kind of hung out unless I was making like a big elaborate some kind of thing for them to shoot through and see if they would make it all the way or die. 
I think my favorite ones were this like dragon shaped one. I had a rat shaped one. And I think there was like a really blue glittery one that I quite enjoyed as well. Did you guys collect any Polly Pockets or Hot Wheels when you were growing up? And these little dolls could probably fit in the hand of a Monster High doll really well. So it's like she's got a little doll. I think that's pretty cool. All right, well, there we have it. We've taken a look at the Day Out Cleo Denial doll, the two different color variants of the Ghoul Mobile from Hot Wheels, and Polly Pockets uh, Compact for Monster High, and I think it is really cool. The little details that they sculpted into it is really amazing. I'm very, very excited for it, and I think it's a really cool addition to the Monster High collection. I really like that the cars can be cars for the Polly Pockets, and I really like that the dolls can hold the Polly Pockets and have like a little doll for themselves. You could even have it where Cleo shrinks them down to their tiny little dolls, and she plays with them. I mean, she's not as evil as she once was, but still. There could be some fun in that. All right, well, thanks for watching and hanging out today and checking out these really cool Monster High fun things to add to our collection. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss the next time we open anything else from Monster High. And leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions or where you found them or if you're going to get them. And maybe I missed some cool detail that you caught. And if we aren't friends yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. There's all kinds of fun coming up, and I don't want you to miss a minute of it. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Bye!